What's up, weight makers? It's me, Mommy Tsunami. And we've got some fun stuff going on today, guys. You read the title, you know what's up. We're trying lip scents today and by association also just other Cenogens products because up until this point, I didn't really realize that Cenogens had like a whole line of makeup, which is crazy. So I don't have all of it, but I do have a pretty good amount of it. Now, most of this came from from Emmy Per IY or Emmy Cordill. She said, now this is risky. And <laughs> let me just start off by saying that a lot of you guys have told me like, please don't try lip scents, you're gonna burn your lips. And I'm like, I don't care. It's whatever, I have like Aquaphor on my lips and stuff right now. I'm like moisturizing before. Anyway, she said that she got sores on her lips. So that's why she stopped using it. And there's seriously so much. I'll show you how much she sent me. She also makes her own jewelry. Uh, she sent me this cool chain link bracelet. Now I checked her Etsy store and it's not in stock or anything, but I'll link it down below because she does do uh, custom orders and stuff like that too. So thank you so much Emmy for sending me this and also to Taylor. Taylor sent me a little bit of lip scents as well. Well, holy crap guys. Okay, so as far as the lip colors go, Woo! <laughs> Emmy and Taylor hooked me up. <laughs> we've got the matte gloss, we've got the glossy gloss, and then I think there's also like a sparkly gloss in here, like a moisturizing, and then just so many different colors. I have no idea which one I'm gonna pick. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It'll actually have to be our grand finale. Now also, I was sent some of their shadow scents. Now, this is literally like a liquid eyeshadow, which I wanna swatch these first. Just so you guys know, these are unopened so Emmy didn't use any of these before she sent them to me yeah that's weird I mean it's pretty I guess I watched some tutorials before in preparation for this and people were just applying this like with a brush they would just like dab it on their eyelid and then just like blend it out with a brush I'm like this is so liquidy though it's an interesting formula I'll give them that it's thick but it's still wet you know and like this kind of stuff like I do not use this in my everyday life I just don't that just is like a matte Okay, that would probably be like the base color. It's just called candlelight, but you would think something called candlelight would have like reflection. It's just matte, it makes no sense. Okay, here's the last one. It's like a matte purple, interesting. Well, we've got some stuff to play with there. I'm gonna try to make a full eye look out of this, but I just don't know how successful it's gonna be. I was also sent blush scents in pouty pink and cherry. <laughs> I think the cherry one might be too dark for me, but let's see about, oh wow. Yeah, the tutorial I watched with the blush, like this chick, this is so, this is actually really like pigmented. I have to be careful with this. She put like a straight up like line across her cheek. I don't know, I guess it could be pretty. I'm just worried because I've, I've really never used products like this before. And then the last thing I have to try today is Lash Sense, which is a mascara. They have like a double-ended thing. So we've got some fun stuff to play with today. Now obviously I already did some stuff to my face. You know what, let's start with the blush sense. So I'm gonna just do <laughs> what I saw this chick do. Actually I'm not, oh my gosh. I'm I'm not gonna put as much as she did. I'm nervous, all right. Did that do anything? <laughs> It looked so pigmented, on, like a little bit went a really long way on my hand, but do another layer, I guess. I don't know. This is just so awkward for a blush. Like, I, I don't understand. Ooh. Oh God. It might just be the color that just isn't really showing up on my skin tone. But you know, honestly, I mean, it blended out okay. It, it's just weird. I mean, I guess a lot of people use brushes to blend out like liquid foundation. Maybe it's not as weird. I'm just not used to it, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's pretty. <laughs> it's just really light on my skin tone, which tells me it would be light on just about anyone else's skin tone. So whatever. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the other blush color was actually, cause I didn't even try it. It looks way darker. Whoa, yeah. Look at that. Could you imagine if I put that on my face? <laughs> Interesting though, nonetheless. Let me put on some highlight. Out of the colors that Emmy sent me for like the shadows, I didn't see anything that looked particularly highlighty. And ain't no way I'm gonna do a makeup look without a highlight, honey.
All right, that's good. <laughs> Let's do some shadow. I think I'm gonna do like the purple on the outside and then like the silver as a blinding highlight color. Kinda wanna zoom you guys in too. My nose is like really runny too, so if I'm all snotty, I'm sorry. Let's experiment with this together. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> honestly, it looks better in person than it does in the viewfinder. I just don't see how this is practical, honestly. And I'll check in a minute, but I don't know how many colors they make in shadow sense, but like usually when you want to build up depth, so like you would take that purple color and then like do like a darker one, like even more precise in the crease to make it look deeper and add dimension. You can't really do that with these. And as far as the silver one goes, I've used liquid eyeshadows that are shimmery or whatever, like the way I used it today. Honestly, I've used better. There's nothing special about that and now I'm curious to know how much it costs, but I'll look that up in a minute Let's try this lash sense <laughs> So one side is this like gray shit. I guess you just put this on first Under sense. Oh, that's what this is called under sense <laughs> until desired length is achieved and then follow with the mascara. I mean, I don't feel like that lengthened much. Maybe I should put on another coat. Uh -uh. And I don't know how old this is, but it feels kind of, I don't want to say chunky, but like it's thick, you know? Also, I hate the smell of this stuff. It straight up smells like paint. As far as the age of this makeup goes, I remember watching not too long ago. I'm going to start putting the mascara on, by the way. Not too long ago, I was watching someone else, another YouTuber review sentences and they were talking about how at least the lip sense I don't know about the rest of it But there, it's said to have like a three-year shelf life or something like that Or like it won't expire for three years or some shit like that And the reason I remember that is because this girl was like Oh all these people are saying I got bad results because all my stuff was expired and then she like pulled out the receipts She's like no, here's when I bought it. So shut up I think this is the worst mascara on the planet. <laughs> Sorry, but holy moly. Do you, are, are you serious right now? Look at how clumpy that shit is. I had to work so hard to get this. Dude, straight up, like, that, that was bullshit. I think unique is better than this shit. Like, what the hell? So, like, for a long time, there was no payoff at all. And I'm just, like, swiping and swiping and swiping and waiting for something to happen. And then eventually it did, but as soon as it did, it was, like, clump. Awful. Just awful. God, that's bad. What the fuck? Anyway, lip sense. <laughs> Let me wipe all the uh, aquaphor off my lips. I have to pick a color here. I got a lot. I think I do want to use the uh, sparkly lip gloss though. This pink one is called Bombshell, but I don't know if it's like... Okay, the texture is weird. Unlike anything I've ever felt. This might be interesting. Apply three layers, letting each dry three to five seconds. Finish with your favorite gloss. Okay. Okay, the spot I put on my arm is like tingling. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like it. Okay. And yes, just to reiterate, this was sealed. It has never been used. I'm nervous, but okay. For the YouTubes. Ow. Oh my God. Holy shit. It burns. Yeah, it, it. <laughs> Oh, and it's sticky. <laughs> yeah, that initial burn was bad. Okay, let's do another coat. It still burned the second time too. Okay, one more coat here. Uh, <laughs> let's put the gloss on. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> okay, well it's on guys. I like the gloss. The gloss is pretty. I just can't imagine that the gloss is gonna last long. And then what's it gonna look like after the gloss is gone, you know? Okay, let me zoom you in so you can get a close-up of my lovely mouth. So it's not sticky anymore. I can do all that. Mm. I don't really like the way my lips look though. And I just keep going. Cause, yeah, it feels weird. It feels like really thick. I'm gonna wear this for a while and I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how the rest of the day goes. I mean, not like I'm doing anything. I'm just gonna be home, but you know. Hey dude, so it's been like an hour and a half, maybe two hours since I applied it. It actually doesn't look too bad. It's still glossy, which is surprising, but I haven't really eaten anything. I just ordered sushi from Uber Eats. So I'm gonna eat some sushi and then we're gonna see how it looks after that. <laughs> Dude, honestly, like after eating sushi, it's still kind of there. I mean, it looks crusty. Sushi is like kind of one of the harder foods to eat with lipstick on without messing up your lipstick and it's still there. So not that it necessarily like looks good, but whatever, I want to take my makeup off now, so. I'm curious how much all this shit costs. My biggest curiosity are the shadows. My lips are still tingling and it's been like five minutes. I don't know what's the deal with that. Now, Shadow Sense says that it's long lasting, that doesn't crease. Yeah, so far I don't see any creasing, so that's cool, but I don't necessarily like the way it looks at the end. I'm not really stoked about it. <clears throat> Holy shit, 22 bucks for one of these. And they have like a lot of shades. They call it anti-aging. Anti-aging eyeshadow, who ever heard of such a ridiculous thing? They do have lash scents that doesn't come with this gunky gray shit for $25. Oh, they have a line for men, did you guys know that? Their eyeliner goes for 25 bucks. If it's good, it's still overpriced for like something you could get at Sephora, you know? Anyway, each lip scents, well, some of them, damn, they're all different. Prices. They range between, it looks like $19 and $30 per shade, which is, God, that's so much. <laughs> yes, lip sense burns. It burns like a motherfucker. Like, what the hell? Secondly, the shadows, first of all, they're so overpriced. Are you kidding me? I can spend $25 on an entire palette that has like a bazillion shades, and they perform better than this as far as like artistically, and like if you're trying to create depth and different looks and stuff. These are very like one note, you know what I mean? There's only so much you can do with products like this. Man Maybe the metallic ones might be, no, you know what, no, not worth it. Still expensive, that's dumb. The mascara is a fucking joke, at least the one that I used. I just, I hate everything about the way my eyelashes look right now. They're awful. Oh yeah, the blush is fine. Probably overpriced too, I didn't even check to see how much that was, but whatever. All in all, yeah, Senegence is fucking overpriced. Insane overpriced kind of nonsense. Now, maybe if the lips end up being long lasting as they're supposed to be, if they stay looking like this all day. Maybe I would say it's kind of worth the money, maybe. But as I always say, I am not encouraging anyone to go buy Senegence at all. At the end of the day, it is a multi-level marketing company that preys on people, has financially destroyed a lot of people, and it's just, it's a predatory company that shouldn't be supported, point blank. I mean, definitely don't buy all the other shit, but the lip scents even then still don't go buy it, even if I give it a good review at the end, because we shouldn't be supporting these companies. And this is why I, I try them on when you guys send them to me, but I don't ever actually buy them from the manufacturer either. I do like to know when I'm talking about these specific companies, I kind of like to have a leg to stand on as far as the products go because we hear all the time, oh, MLM products are shit. They're not always shit. Now in this case, the mascara is shit and like other stuff is just completely, totally overpriced. My experience so far has been MLM products aren't always shit. Most of the time they're just overpriced. I think that pretty much rings true here as well. So anyway, let's thank my patrons. The biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Amanda McMahon, Corey Allison, Irene Nordid, Michelle Matthews, Unknown System Error, Katrina Rosemarick, Elizabeth Wyatt, Karina Windman, Maria Burchett, Meredith Nakata, Molly Larson, Molly Wasilewski, Rach J, Real Fly Realize, Turd Ferguson, April Lindblom, Bobby, Boris Geller, Shandrea Christensen, Clark Grace, Daniel Urena, Desiree Lopez, E. Higgins, Evan Adler, Eve Blondo, Hey Felicia93, JP Eugino Schaefer, Jackie Waple, Justin Kelsey, Katie and Nick, Kelly Crefield, Kim Cartwright, Laura Lynn Martin, Maddie Darley, Molly Bresson, Rachel McHenry, Savannah Krakowskis, Tara Jensen, Tuesday the 13th, Vandis Closet, Whitney James, and Cat Loves Things and Stuff, and to the rest of my wonderful patrons, thank you so much for being here. And if you're not a patron, still, thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Thank you to Taylor and Emmy for sending me all this <laughs> lip sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> Keep making waves, babes. I will smell you guys later. Mommy Tsunami out.